a green before we get to these lights. This car's coming behind, so I'm just going to slow them all up. He's changed lanes quite quickly. What the hell was that? He just <laughs> can you see what he just did there? That was ridiculous. It, it was he was behind me and decided to cut down the inside. It's the car that's straight in front of me. That was one hell of a dangerous manoeuvre. I do not know what they were thinking. It's certainly worthwhile getting their registration number. Driving like he stole it, so I'm suspecting he's going to go through this red as well. Sierra 974 Alpha November India. Clown. There's Jess. Well, stop for that red light, didn't you, mate? Incredible manoeuvre. The thing is that that highlights what you've got to do. Like keep. I, I was watching. I, I thought it was gonna. Here we go. I thought it was actually gonna just go to the left-hand lane, but he decided to sail straight through. And he was one. He's pulled off into that servo. What an absolute bell end. But I saw him change lanes, and I'm thinking, okay, he's just gonna pull into left. And then he swung back out in front of me. That's incredible. Interesting. And I was backing him up to slow him down. I what people's thoughts are on that. By the way, that was, uh, I've got my clock on. If I put that on there, I'll give you the correct time. The date is the 10th of April, 2020. And that clock is an hour fast because I've not adjusted it. Just so you're aware. Upon reflection, looking at that scenario, the more I look at it, the more I think he's clearly thought I'd stop it. I was stopping it a green. He could see the green arrow. That's all he saw. But that was for the right hand lane and turning right. And I'm thinking that he was thinking I was slowing down for a green, and he thought. Why is he slowing down? I'm just going to carry on. And he hadn't realised that it was red for straight on. That's what I'm thinking happened there. But this highlights the issue we've got as vulnerable road users as we're at the front of a queue and the front of a, a, a line of traffic stopping for a red traffic light. And it's worth considering what a position we adopt as the primary vehicle at the front coming to a stop on motorbikes, do we automatically, even though there's no, there's two lanes in that situation, do we have a situation where we can actually lane split when there's two cars there? Of course we do, if it's legal to do so in your part of the world. Or at least position yourself in a situation where you, if you're gonna get hit up the ice, you're gonna get shunted through a gap rather than, rather than become a sandwich. But in that situation, I'm right at the front, very vulnerable. As you could see, I was trying to back the vehicles up a little bit, slow them down as I'm approaching in the situation where I think I mentioned it, that I could have done it without stopping and you know, got the green before I actually got to the junction and carried on, which is a good riding if you can do it. But of course, it leaves you slightly vulnerable to the rear. From that point of view, in that situation, it was dark. You haven't got such a good view of people behind. All you've got is headlights, and it's hard to gauge the distance. I spotted it happening. I spotted him coming, and I spotted him changing lanes, as I mentioned. But he was a dangerous driver, and it is dangerous to anybody, whether you're in a car or a motorbike. But as I say, you've got to consider when you're at the front, and you've got a red light, where you position yourself 
when you come to the stop in that instance it's a difficult one i'd have been better off to the far and far right hand side of my right hand lane not too close to the right hand lane that was turning right the far right but to the right hand side of my lane if i was going to come to a stop just to negate that risk of that type of guy coming up behind you and just piling through what are your thoughts on that one it's a bit of a difficult one but where do you position yourselves when you come to a red traffic light like that um there's not a lot you can do sometimes it can be just down to luck and you've got to negate that sort of thing happening and defend against it the best you can it's a um, it's a difficult one that one it might create a little bit of uh, chat anyway thanks for watching ride safe everybody